Hi guys, so um, today is going to be the second video that I've posted on this channel and it's going to be a teardown of the um, the Mark 1 or the V1 of the Amazon Echo Dot. So this is the very original one. Terrible audio, but we're going to tear it down. So what I've already done is I've taken off um, some rubber off the bottom and that was just this piece of clear adhesive with... Um, rubber on top so that that was quite easy to take off just need a little pry tool which, which i use the swiss army so now we're going to use a um t8 to take out so there's four screws if you see that there's four screws there so we're going to take each of those out and they're all um t8 torques so we'll take those out don't do that so yeah, if you wanna um, leave in the comments a suggested screwdriver bit set for these kind of jobs that's under I don't know about fifteen pounds. Because I've been looking at the um, iFixit stuff, but it's quite expensive. So and also I'd be interested to hear your opinion. I will also link down all the stuff I'm using for audio here and the webcam that I'm using. Cool. So. Once we've got out those four screws, it's going to take a while. There we go. So now I've got those four screws out, and this white piece here just kind of pops off. And then you've got to be careful because screws, there we go. And then this white piece, once you've taken out the screws, will fully pop off. So inside of this white piece, is basically just plastic so it's just a standoff that the circuit um that the main board and everything stands up off also possibly think there's possibly some sort of speaker in there but i've tried to dive deeper and doesn't want to so we'll have another try on camera here let's see if we can poke this out somehow there we go okay Ooh. yeah so that's just popped out so that looks like merry it's got the word merry written on the bottom of it if you can see that but yeah so that's quite interesting so i think that's just the subwoofer subwoofer bit and possibly an antenna by the looks of it in here so that's quite interesting so now we've taken that out of the base put those over here you're left with these two parts so this one here is the main motherboard i believe and it's got the aux and micro usb power on the back of it so if i look and also there will be a connector so that connector there goes in between the two boards and links up there so when you're taking if you take it apart you have to be wary of that and then that board just pops off and you can see this is made of a cast aluminium so obviously here are your here's the main chip and this is obviously being used as a heat sink which when i first took it apart i was wondering why they made this out of aluminium but it's very clear that it's for heat sink for this so we're not going to go under there today but um it is interesting to see that it's quite a large chip and it's got lots of it's got a thermal pad in the middle and two more thermal pads either side so that's quite interesting to see so yeah that's the main board and this is my hand and it's quite big it's quite small it's about the whole size of the um of the echo that's that side and that's how you can see the little connector at the bottom yeah so that's that board and then obviously you've got the aluminium or aluminum piece that fitted on that so then you ended up with this top piece this rubber just lifts off around the connector and this plastic here just lifts off but if you notice anything interesting about this plastic is the screw holes are like offset which means that you can only fit this on one way and then it's got these little stubs and if you can see that little stubs that that just slots onto. Okay, right. So those two put those to the side. And then that just drops off. And you've obviously got the 
cover plate with all of the um yeah all the buttons and then you get down to the second main board which is more of an io kind of board which has your four buttons and it looks like possibly an antenna around the edge and then it's obviously got four processing chips here which i suggest is to control the use of each button and it's got another chip here which i think is probably for the for um something to do with the antennas or something along, along those lines so that's that board so that's actually the whole thing torn down so i said we weren't going to have a look under here but i will just see if i can pry this off i'm just using my favorite tool here favorite tool here a little the old little little old swiss army knife yeah so look this plastic cut this metal cover or heat sink comes right off revealing another another thermal pad underneath of the top one and we and looking at two or three little chips so i'm not quite sure what they would be doing let me see if i can get some more light so you guys can see a bit better there there's three chips so i'm not sure what they would be doing I imagine there's at least one for wireless networking and then another for just the actual processing. But that's quite interesting to see. They're obviously ejecting a bit of heat because they've got a nice heat sink cover, which I'm not surprised to see. But then they've got this big chunk of aluminium. So it's obviously chucking off some heat. So, yeah, that's quite interesting to see. And it's also, I'm not sure if i got the right size here, but there are two more um i forgot what the word is now star bolts the same as the torx torx bolts there so i don't think i have the right bit for them no i don't but i think if you took those off it just releases the headphone jack so that would be quite interesting to do but yeah put down in the comments what other stuff you would like to see me tear down because i've got a preamp that i use that i could take i've already taken the cover off that but i can make a video about that I've got the Behringer audio interface, which I could do. I've got um, a couple of speakers and all sorts of different webcams and things. And I don't know if you'd like to see a teardown on the Antex soldering iron that I use. I'll also, so in the description, I'll leave a link to the soldering iron I use, the webcam, the microphone, the preamp, and the interface that I use. So if you, want, you guys want to do any of that. But yeah, so hopefully I'll see you next video, in the next video. I am starting to do a little bit more posting, as you saw. On the same day um, that I'm filming this, I posted a little YouTube shorts earlier because I was doing some 3D printing work with my Ender 3. But if you also, if you guys want to see some more videos of the Ender 3, then um, I think that'd be an interesting topic to cover. Right, so I'll see you in the next video. And so see you then. Bye.